Hi, I'm your mayor, Libby Schaff, and I know these are hard times for families. So don't forget that your Oakland Library is here for you and for your kids. Three times a week, you can enjoy story times by people like me <laughs> on their Facebook and YouTube channels. Go to oaklandlibrary.org and you can get a library card from the comfort of your home. And it's more than just books. You can check out movies and music to stream in your house. You can even use their Book Me service to fill out a few questions and then they will send you a recommended list of books to read. So please be sure to take advantage of the incredible resources at oaklandlibrary.org. For parents, they have screen-free activity suggestions, as well as access to tutor.com to help your kids keep up with their learning during this shelter in place. Please be sure to call the library. And now for my story today, Strictly No Elephants. It's written by Lisa Manchev and illustrated by Taeun Yu. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. He is very thoughtful sort of walk. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do. Lift each other over the crack. Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Come along, there's a good boy. I coax him the last few feet. It'll be fine. But when I look up, there's a sign on the door. What do you think it says? Oh no, it says strictly no elephants. That's not very nice. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do. Brave the scary things for you. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. <gasps> what if we start our own club? Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. So we paint our own sign and it says all are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. Here's our last page. Because that's what friends do. I hope you enjoyed this story about the tiny elephant, and I hope that each one of you children have a tiny elephant, or I have a cow pig here, that actually can teach you to be a good friend. And like so many stories, there are scary things, there are hard things that you may go through, especially right now, but most stories do have happy endings. Take care of yourself, be well, and please be sure to take advantage of the Oakland Public Library, their story times, and their website, oaklandlibrary.org. Wishing you courage and kindness. This is your mayor, Libby Schaff.